Hello there, this is Big Chuck, and this is my unboxing of the Astro A40 wireless gaming headset, as well as the Astro Mixamp 5.8. Um, I've been looking for a good wireless gaming headset to play Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 with, and after using the Turtle Beach X41 for a while, I've come to the conclusion that because of its plastic design that it's not going to last, you know, in the long term. And so I've been looking for different options. So I ordered this up and I've uh, heard a lot of positive things about it. And we will see what we get in the box here. We got the packing list. First of all, we got the rechargeable battery pack. I opted for the rechargeable battery after using the Turtle Beach X41 for a while and going through a whole bunch of different batteries. So I figured in the long run this will save me a little bit of money on batteries. Um, got the Astro Can Tag Set, whatever that is. Okay, so these are the caps that go over the sides of the, the headset, and they're magnetic, and you can basically snap them right onto the headset. You can also custom make these at astrogaming.com, though I didn't really opt for that. Um, next we have the actual mix amp, which turns your headset basically into a surround sound capable headset. So we've got that here. Uh, one of the pieces that looks like you keep next to you, uh, like wherever you're sitting, whether it be on the couch or wherever. And the other piece is actually physically connected to your stereo system. Kind of an intricate box here. So, oh yeah. So, Got a little instruction card. Got the actual receiver base that has an optical in and out, two USB, a power outlet, you know, it has to be powered, um, and then an auxiliary in for like an MP3 player or something. Um, and then we've got the little mix amp that sits next to you. Um, you can adjust game volume with this and adjust the ratio of chat volume to game volume with this. You got a power on off switch and a switch that turns Dolby Digital processing on and off. Switches between 2.1 and 5.1 or 7.1. On the bottom we've got a USB, probably a charger sort of thing. Um, a line out to your place PlayStation or Xbox controller, and then a out to the actual headset. Um, in this box, we've also got a power cable, uh, an optical cable, um, batteries for the mix amp, a cable to connect your controller to your mix amp, and a USB cable. Okay, so next, we have the actual headset. The Astro A40 gaming headset. So we'll open this up, see exactly what we've got here. You've got a nifty little case here. Um, I've seen some headsets have something like that, something like this, and some don't, but it's nice to have a little case if you want to take it somewhere. You've got a headset instruction guide, you know, so read through that if you so desire. And then, when we 
you open up this sturdy, nice looking case, you got the actual headset, which seems very solid, you know, not plasticky. Seems like it's gonna last. You know, and then this little caps I was showing you guys earlier. Snap on right here. So next we also have a cable for connecting the headset. As well as an Xbox chat cable and some replacement foam for the cups of the headset as well as this microphone which I found to be very uh, durable in comparison to the Turtle Beach X41 that one seemed just too flimsy too movable uh, seems like it isn't gonna last this one you know you put that in there and that you know, I mean, you can bend it as much as you need to bend it, um, but it's certainly not going to break. So, that is what we have with the Turtle Beach X, or not the Turtle Beach, the Astro A40 wireless audio gaming headset. So, I will do a little bit of testing with this, and I will let you guys know what I think. Thank you guys.